Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to import uh, some 3D models into Vault Space really quickly. And in this case, uh, we're going to show you how to get something off of Sketchfab and get it into Vault Space. So, all right, let's jump right in. Um, let's say you find something on Sketchfab and you see this little icon like, ooh, I can download this model. Um, what you can do is you can click on it. Then you can scroll down and click download model. And make, sh and, uh, make sure you click on the uh, auto converted format, GLTF. The reason why you want to do that, the reason why you want to do that is because GLTF is a standard format that we're going to be able to use to do stuff in alt space. Okay. So, oh, keep in mind I'm, I'm signed in. If you're not signed in, you'll have to create an account, sign, create a free account, um, sign in. Um, so I downloaded it. Look like it came in uh, right here. I'm going to uh, click on the zip file and extract it. You can see it'll extract it to my download folder. That's good. Here it is. And uh, we're gonna hold on to that real quick. We're gonna put it on the side. And then what we want to do is we want to um, grab. We want to basically get this model into alt space. So let me sign in here. Uh, we're going to we're going to create what's uh, called a model here. So go into the more menu, create a model. Create the model. Um, we're going to give it a name. So in this case, uh, Starship. Starship. And we're going to want to find this, um, find a file for this. Um, to keep it simple, I won't go over, over the details of what GLTF is. And suffice to say, what we need to do is um, take all the files you need um, that you get from Sketchfab. And it's a bunch of different things um, because they, you know, they want to make it general, generic. They want you to be able to put it into um, various programs. But what we wanted to do is make a single GLTF file, which is called a .glb. So you can drag that in here into the spot right here. Uh, essentially, we've embedded a GLTF maker here. And if you drop some files, all of them, and they get um, turned into one single file, the GLB, the, the GLTF binary file. Uh, and then you can like just drag it in here. Uh, if you that doesn't work for you, you could always go choose file and go to the downloads and go to the thing that just extracted and um, Oops, not extracted. You wanted to get the thing that just downloaded. So this one, the um, the GLB file. Okay, but it's easier just to drag it in here. Okay, so you've got it. You got the name. Um, if you want to upload an image, you can do a square image. That'll be a preview in client, but um, not required. Okay. All right. So this might take a little bit of time, depending on you know how big these files were. So in this case, it was uh, about a meg, so shouldn't be too long. Um, doo -doo. But essentially what happens is this file gets uploaded to Altspace, and when it gets created, you will get a link back. Um, this is the link you will need to go into Altspace and um, spawn it. Okay. Took its sweet ass time. So here, here you've got a uh, thing. You want to copy this to your clipboard. Make sure you get that. Um, and then uh, I already have alt space running. I've got an empty world here except for the uh, avocado, the test avocado. And what you're going to want to do is uh, first you're going to want to uh, get your hands. Then we're going to open the world editor here we're gonna go into um, let's see basics alt space basics scroll down a little bit uh, you might see s different stuff here but uh, you may not even need to scroll but just make sure you find GLTF good luck have fun right um, and then here you do paste you can also do control V on your keyboard if you got a keyboard but um, this should work for um, PC, Mac, or you know, whatever. All right, so you've got the URL in there, and you click confirm. And uh, oh, look, it takes a little time. What's it? It's like really thinking. Oh, 
didn't spawn. Oh shit. Oh wow, okay, so it spawned really big. Um, so here, what you want to do is it actually spawn above me. So let's do point zero zero one. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so one, one. So I guess stuff spawns in too big, but here it is. Look at that. Got a starship, uh, and um, that's about it. Uh, some, some things to note. Um, yeah, like what you saw, um, sometimes it spawns in way too big. Um, so, you know, you just, you, and then also, um, usually when it spawns in, um, it'll have like a weird name. Um, and then it'll be I'll also have, uh, you know, no collision. Like you can't really grab it, right? There's no collision. So, I mean, this is the kind of quick and dirty version of bringing stuff in. Um, so what you do is, you know, if you don't see it or whatever, find it in the list, select it, and then change the scale down to something smaller and manageable. Um, and then, you know, you can change the name. You can say like, you know, Starship to, to whatever. You know, we have a default name based on the, uh, the file name, but uh, you can always change it. So now it's Starship, which is nice. And now you can like grab it and do stuff. You can size it up, size it down, um, you know, move it all around. There it is. And uh, that's it. That's how you bring stuff in. Um, if you want it to, uh, you know, um, see what else can you do with it. If you have a problem where you, it it's spawns and then if you uh, try to re-enter the world you can't enter what you want to do is this so let's see you want to go on to the website you want to go to your worlds huh? go to your worlds then you go to my worlds I think this one was in Jimmy's garage. So here's the garage. And what you can do is you can click on objects. And this lists all the objects in that world. Um, so here, oh, it doesn't show the name. Hmm, we should probably show the name. But uh, so here, oh, it, it does. So here's a starship. So if, if you were like, hey, the last thing I placed before things broke, how, you know, how do I get rid of that? Well, you can click on it um, and then you can delete that if you wanted to. So that's how you would get unstuck if you couldn't, couldn't get back to the world. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining us and, uh, you know, happy uh, GLTFing.